So Neil, you were playing against the Whirlwind tonight and uh, starts to matches don't come much more quick fire than that. Three frames, three centuries between the two of you is a pretty remarkable beginning to the game. Yeah, it was. It was. Um, you know, it's nice to see Jimmy. You know, start off so well as well. Um, and uh, yeah, you know, the last two frames could have been you know quite easily two centuries there as well. So uh, yeah, you know, really pleased with with how I started. Um, you know, first rounds you're never really too sure how you're going to play, but um, yeah, it's, you know, it's nice to sort of carry on the good form I've been showing in recent events. And given his ranking, Jimmy's obviously not as a regular on the TV table as you are nowadays. But uh, it, it was a real special occasion to play Jimmy in front of me. what was a big crowd this evening. Yeah, for sure. That that was probably the most pleasing thing was to um, you know to see him sort of you know still show the signs that he's still a great player. And um, yeah, I mean he didn't really do a great deal wrong in the match, especially up to three one. Um, yeah, I had a, a little bit of luck where I left him awkward on, on one red at two one. Where he had to use a spider, um, but apart from that, you know, I, I thought he played. I thought he played a decent match. After beating Ronnie O'Sullivan last week at the World Grand Prix, I remember you said to me that you know you thought that was some of the best snooker you'd ever played against him. Um, the Welsh Open this week is typically a tournament that people begin to look towards the World Championship. It's the business end of the season. How pleased are you with your form? Yeah, very pleased. Um, you know, it's uh, you know it's been a while sort of since I've. Being able to pick up you know consistent results and you know it's nice to be able to show that you know three out of the last four events I've you know been picking up the results and um, losing a couple of close matches uh, you know three times losing to the winner of events so um, you know the form's there and it's just about sort of keep you know going deeper in tournaments and then eventually you'll get a chance at, at winning one of them. And uh, it, the last time you did win one was was the Riga Masters at the start of the season. Just how important is it now to you to? convert those results and, and get get some silverware again. Yeah, well, that's the key. The, the, the key is, you know, first of all, getting to sort of quarters and semi-finals and then converting those chances into tournament wins. Um, you know, I've got a, as good a record as anybody um, going deep into events, you know, converting them into tournament wins. Uh, it's just about sort of building up the consistency to make sure I'm there or thereabouts in, in all the events. And it's a local player next, Lee Walker. What's your thoughts on that one? Yeah, it's going to be a really tough match. You know, he's a very tenacious player. Um, you, know, you you have to you know really sort of scrape him off the table. He's got a brilliant safety game. Uh, he's got a tremendous amount of experience, and um, yeah, you know he's going to make it half for me. And um, I just have to go out there, play my game, and you know hopefully it'll be enough. Best luck for the rest of the week, Neil. Thanks.